Hi, good morning everyone. I am Jay Suresh Kumar, working as Assistant Professor, Department of English, KSR College of Arts and Sciences for Women. Today we are going to see English for Employability paper, a last two chapters, Unit 4 and 5. The topics covered in the Unit 4 and 5 are Topic Discussions, Interview Skills and Workplace Awareness. Let's see the group discussion. The simplest form of GD. There are the group discussions or GD is a type of discussions that involve the people sharing an ideas and activities. It is a sharing an ideas between the group of the members. The people in the group discussions are connected with the one basic idea. Based on that idea, everyone in the group represents his or her perspective of their own ideas of their individuals. A GD is in a discussion that tests the candidate skills such as leadership skills, communication skills, social skills, behavior, politeness, teamwork, listening ability, general awareness, confidence, even the dressing senses and problem solving skills. These are all discussed in the GD. Next, the interviewer skills. The interviewer skills like positive attitude, honesty, communication and active listening can influence the hiring decisions in your favor. In a job interview, there are a lot of types of interview. Job interview, like there are many types of interviews. In a job interview, a great place to showcase your personality, highlight your strengths. Because you, when you enter into the interview, you can uh, express your highlights by your subject knowledge and your physical strength and your experts, what you are in there. They leave a positive impression on your potential employer. The most important skill for an interview is a verbal communication because it helps to convey a valuable information about your education. Verbal communication is a, two, there are two types of communication, a verbal communication and non-verbal communication about your education and abilities and experience to potential employers. Before the interview, there are the, some four to five uh, some steps you have to follow in that. Self-preparation, what are the topics you are going to face or speak then the research based on the background of the your topics and the mastering your emotions. You want to control your master your emotions, uh, anger, frustration, temptations also. Logistically planning the way of your answering in on the timing. Next topic: workplace awarenesses. There are lot of types of awarenesses because roadside awareness, health awarenesses. Like workplace awareness is a entirely different topic. In the workplace awareness. Self-awareness is something all employees should strive for, enabling the individual to have to control their own actions and emotions and a highly self-aware employee known to take a challenge stride and reacts in a calm and professional manner. Self-awareness is a workplace, is all that getting a stronger grip on your feeling, emotion and mental health. Self-awareness is a key component of emotional intelligence. It is a key and component of emotional intelligence because you have to control your basic emotions. The capacity to be aware of the control express one's emotions and to handle interpersonal relationship judicially and empathetically. Self-awareness is ability to monitor your own emotions and reactions.